and today I am going to bring you just a really quick video. Um, it's Thursday, so we are starting Double XP Double Weapon Weekend as of 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, which I think is California, which I think is my time, which is Arizona, because we don't change our clocks. Don't ask why, I don't know why, we just don't. But, um, I wanted to just kind of talk really quickly about the new rumors that are going around and the reactions that I've been seeing to them mainly is the reason why plus um, can't see it on your screen because my camera's in the way but a little bit left of my little thing it's I'm at 55 so it is prestige time as well so I'm gonna go through some of this stuff also um, not really gonna get into the prestige shots as much just more you made more or less just kind of want to talk to you guys to see what you guys think about the reactions that are going on right now now obviously we all know the rumors um, COD in space, 2016, is the rumor mill going on, and I guess the reason why they take a lot of what is being said to be true is because the guy who uh, predicted, I think he said, I think they said AW and Black Ops 3 is predicting the COD in space, because maybe he has some kind of insider knowledge, who knows, but obviously he has a way to know, but here's my biggest thing is, why is everybody so all of a sudden worried about being in space? Okay. Um, if you watch any sci-fi movie, pretty much any sci-fi movie, movie that you watch in your life, um, there's this little thing in all of them pretty much called artificial gravity. Okay. Where basically people are able to walk and run around. Now, yes, it's science fiction. I know that, but you know, obviously that stuff is in real life as well. So if you guys need to go Google NASA, there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can see about it. But it is real. Um, and the reason why I bring that up is because I have been a proponent of boots on the ground and I want people back on the ground instead of hipping and hopping and bebopping all over the damn screen, um, like in AW, okay? That was by far the worst of the bunch, okay? BO3, honestly, I've adjusted and, you know, it's not as bad as it was in AW, okay? I'm sorry, but in AW it was just ridiculous, okay? Um, so, to me, it's not really a scary thought about the, the in-space thing, okay? They're not going to have us jetting around in jetpacks. Like, if you were watching one of those movies, like uh, the movie Gravity, where George Clooney was all over space with that jetpack on the back, and he was, like, flying and stuff like that. We're not going to be doing that. And to me, that's what I think a lot of people are going with it. Which, quite honestly, is dumb, because that would be, like, the slowest ever multiplayer thing, okay? For campaign, great, that's, that's fine. Okay, I didn't care about that, because in the campaign, that's different, that's just me playing, and, you know, and I'm sure it wouldn't be throughout the whole game. However, they're also speculating whether or not, like, movement like Black Ops 3 is going to be back, and it kind of seems like that would be what's going on. Um, and again, I'm okay with that, that's not a problem. People still tending are on the ground. The wall running, I could probably could do without, because... People jumping from a wall to a tree and then circling the tree for five fucking minutes while they're boosting and, you know, next thing you know, they're 800 feet in the air. That, to me, is ridiculous. That's the part that I could do without, is the wall running and the bouncing off of trees and doing all that stuff. As far as the jumping goes in Black Ops 3, I've been fine with it. But like I said, AW, we cannot go to that extreme again. That is just my opinion about that, especially when it comes to uh, multiplayer. Okay, I'm not alone in this. I know that a lot of other people have said this as well. Um, just don't, just so it's not, you know, like you are out of the atmosphere jumping, I'm fine, okay? Boots on the ground, obviously you guys all know, I would be absolutely ecstatic if it was that, with just the little jumps that people can do, the sliding, all that stuff, movement, that stuff's been great. All these advancements in Black Ops have been great. Um, you guys watched, if you watched my Ghost video, you know how much I love, uh, the boots on the ground there and the gameplay that happened there, because that to me was... How, how I grew up with COD. That's, that was always everything. I mean, that was, what, that was Modern Warfare 2. You know, that was Call of Duty 4. You know I mean? This one doesn't have a picture on it, but trust me, this is Black Ops 2. Um, you know, to me, that was the, the the fun times, and that was how COD got big, okay? But now all this kind of jumping around, it seems like a lot of people take taking another step back. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they're gonna do this. I'm hoping that they're listening to the community. They've had three years, so I'm hoping that that's the deal. Like I said, go nuts on the campaign. Do whatever you want in the campaign. But when it comes to multiplayer, please kind of just leave the movements to, to how they are in Black Ops 3. 
let's not go crazier than that. Um, I can go without the wall running, like I said. Um, and, and you know that would that's that's kind of my take on the gameplay. Now the other thing that we always want to bring up is people are worried about pay to win, and when things start to get into uh, supply drops. And I think some tweaking is going to be happening. Uh, the rumor mills and all the posts that I've been reading state that the supply drops might be more geared toward like a CS:GO type of thing. Um, I haven't played CS:GO, but from the videos that I've seen, it seems like it's a pretty, uh, pretty well done uh, system. So. Um, you know, that'll be something to look forward to. As long as they don't do the variants, obviously, everybody knows. We never want variants again. Um, Black Ops went with the uh, the HG40, okay, and brought that back in, and the MX Garand, and that's fine. You know what I mean? Those are, those are fun little guns who, that have their downsides and their upsides, okay? Um, but, you know, to me, the supply drop stuff, I think, is still being worked on. Um, and lastly, they need to come correct with the competitive stuff. This has been, without a doubt, one of the most boring years for competitive con, um, strictly as lands go. I've loved CWL. I've loved watching the Twitch streams, of, uh, you know, two nights a week, being able to catch a bunch of matches in a row, and, and you know, who's in, who's in relegation. That stuff has been, you know, exciting to me. That was a lot of fun. That has been a lot of fun. However, the the lands are missing because of this whole issue with the PS4 controllers, which, to my knowledge, hasn't been fixed. So to me. The one that's coming up later on this year, they really need to bring their, their focus on competitive back. I understand that their bread and butter is with the everyday players as far as money goes, but dedicate a team to the competitive who just, you know, here's 10 people. Let's, you guys just work on competitive and that's it. Do nothing but competitive. Here's our other 50 people working on, um, you know, the public matches like we like I'm, I'm showing here or you know, the, the, the supply drops. Take that stuff out of that one team's hands and put all that into the, the the regular everybody, you know, everyday Joe who jumps out for two, three hours and plays and just has some fun and, you know, is the guy killing you with the rocket launcher that some people hate. So, that to me is something that I want to see in the next one as well. Um, you know, let me know how you guys think about, you know, what you guys think about my thoughts about this. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to play no matter what. I'm not going to sit there and go, I'm going to boycott them if they do AW jumping. Sorry, you know, I'll... Admit it to you guys, I am a fanboy of COD. I love COD. I have never not loved COD. Um, I've always been excited about the releases and being able to see what's going to be coming next. And I will continue to be that way. So, you know, regardless of what they do, I will continue to, to support the franchise. I love playing this game. I know that, this, the, unfortunately, the people who don't like things, they get hurt more because they whine and complain and bitch more. But it's just like anything else. The people who are enjoying things don't really come out and say how much they're enjoying a certain game. You just see everybody bitching about one thing or another. Okay, so, but to me, I'm going to always be supportive. I'm going to always play these games and, you know, how how, how I'm going to be. I'm not going to ever stop playing COD, so. Um, I'm excited to see if we're still uh, a little ways off from getting any real reveal. But still, to me, I'm, I'm excited about but I'm also a little bit tentative to get my hopes up about the whole movement mechanics because they did basically state that they're going to be changing, you know, it's going to be game changing what they're doing. And that always kind of makes me go, okay, wait, whoa, what are you doing? But I want to get, um, you know, kind of my opinion out there. Like I said, it's been blowing up on everything on Reddit, on Twitter. No matter where you go, people are just putting out rumors out there. And I know a lot of them are just people being. You know, little troll munchies and stuff like that. Not troll munchies like the guy, but, you know, it's kind of become a term now. So, um, that's just kind of how, 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 how I think right now. So, um, I'm keen, I'm staying optimistic, but I'm also being a little bit on edge of D. But I'm still going to keep going with Black Ops 3. I'm having so much fun with this game. Um, and as you guys saw this video, I went back and played some old school. I'm going to be putting a lot more um, Xbox. I rehooked my Xbox into the office. I got some people that I want to play with on Xbox with some games. I had some fun with them. And, um... You know, make some uh, make some different type of videos. So, stay tuned for all that stuff. I'm gonna go through my uh, my my unlocks here with my uh, with my prestige. Uh, as you can see, the, the KD dropped a little bit. I would like to thank my scavenger series, by the way, for that. I'm glad all of you guys enjoy it because look what it's doing to me. But that's okay. I have a lot of fun with it too. Um, I was gonna try and bring you guys another one before I ranked up here, but. Every time I got into a free-for-all match, it was on just the biggest map ever, and I've been playing for literally like two hours now. So I just, I'm not going to be able to, to bring you guys another one. I'm going to bring it to you as soon as I can. Maybe I'll do it as rank one and have some fun with no perks or anything like that. So, um, 
you know, so like I said, Katie's a little bit low, this ratio's still up there. You know, I like to make sure that I'm at least over a one, you know, because that means that at least I'm winning some games. I'm not just playing for myself. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, get ourselves prestige. Now, let's make sure I can do this right this time. Because remember last video, I forgot how to prestige. And right now, I'm actually forgetting how to prestige right now. Son of a bitch. Oh, I'm going to be pissed because I'm not remembering how the fuck to prestige my guy. Oh, this is embarrassing. How do I enter prestige mode? Where the shit is the damn thing? No. Oh, God. Noob alert. I thought it was right here. There it was. God damn it, I'm on it! Most epic fail ever for the second video in a row of me doing prestige. So, I'm going to enter my fourth prestige here. Get the emblem. I'm going to do the permanent one unlock. Put yourself progress over level one so you never played a public match. No, that will be probably after the, the end of Black Ops. Honestly, God, I will not touch that until the end. Uh, I'm not going to refund anything. Let's just do the permanent unlock. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to do a specialist. I've been having a lot of fun with Spectre and his active camo. And I know these guys come real, real late. But I also do miss being able to have my SVG, because that comes at 52. I really want to work that sucker like crazy, because I've already got all my assault rifles that I want. Everything there is unlocked real early. Everything that I use is unlocked really early. I think I'm going to just go with my, with my unlock, my SVG permanently, because I love this sniper. It's my favorite sniper, as is everybody's. But going to 52... That's just ridiculous. Um, the specialists I can wait on. I'm not 100%, you know, completely worried about getting the, the purifier or, or, or the camo guy. So I'll be learning that stuff later on. And as you know, double XP weekend, double weapon XP. So I might as well reset everything now. Says I'm because tomorrow I'm off of work. So I'm going to go ahead and start grinding everything for my uh, for the double XP. So hope to see some of you guys online. Uh, to my people on Xbox, hope to see some of you guys online as well when I get on there. So uh, if you haven't added me, go to my Twitter. My uh, my uh, gamer tags on there. Add me on X1, and uh, we'll team up for some for whatever games we may have. I do have Star Wars. Like I said, I have AW. We got some fun with that, where I just don't give a shit, um, and we'll just have some fun with some videos. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button. Make sure you guys follow for more. Gonna keep going like crazy. I'm really enjoying the new computer. I'm really enjoying the fact that I can get videos done within an hour with everything, and the quality is finally where I want it. So, hope you guys are enjoying that change. As always, your boy Bishop. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night.